Distinguished guests, good afternoon and welcome. Almost one year ago, the COVID-19 pandemic resulted in a first lockdown that has impacted all of us, personally, socially, in our family, in the education of our children and at work. The pandemic has also shaken the European economy, revealing our strong dependence on global value chains. In the meantime, it has led to major supply disruptions of essential products, such as protective masks, hydroalcoholic gels, and medical devices like respirators and diagnostic tools. Initial weaknesses became opportunities for companies that could seize them. Because of the containment measures, demands collapsed and some companies were forced to reinvent themselves in order to maintain their activities or to develop new ones. Today's event aims to highlight, with concrete examples, how the support measures set up by the government have helped Luxembourg companies to contribute to the fight against the pandemic, to improve their resilience and reinforce their sustainability in the long term, notably by investing into the digitization of their activities. Today's event will also demonstrate how the implementation of medical devices, in vitro diagnostics and personal protective equipment regulations can leverage both the competitiveness of companies and the sustainability of their activities. Ladies and gentlemen, today six companies active in health tech will explain how the pandemic has impacted their activities and how they decided to respond with the support of the eight schemes set up by the Ministry of the Economy. The health tech sector was chosen about 10 years ago by the Luxembourg government as one of the priority sectors to diversify our economy. It is still young and characterized by a high number of small companies. Among the companies established in Luxembourg, we have several hidden champions with unique expertise and capability that we can be very proud of. It has already been demonstrated by the COVID-19 crisis. With the rise of personalized medicine and digitization of healthcare, the regulatory frameworks allowing medical devices software or in vitro diagnostic tools to access the European markets will become key enablers for the resilience and sustainability of Luxembourg-based health tech companies. This will also be decisive for the development of the health tech sector as a whole. In this context, I would like to remind you that several aid schemes are still available and I would like to invite you to come forward with your projects. As Minister for Development Cooperation and Humanitarian Affairs, I also would like to raise your awareness regarding the Business Partnership Facility. This tool, established by the Luxembourg Corporation, can also support activities contributing to the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic in developing countries. I'm also very pleased to inform you that a new funding opportunity favoring public-private partnerships with health tech actors will be announced soon. In the meantime, I invite you to listen to the testimonials. May they inspire you and encourage you to follow their example and thus contribute to the dynamic of the health tech sector in Luxembourg. Before concluding this speech, I would like to thank the Lux Innovation team for its great support in making today's event happen and also for providing information, networking and guidance. These are key ingredients towards successful project applications, helping companies to leverage national or European funding resources. Also, let me thank you all for your online participation. I wish you all a very successful conference and interesting exchanges.